Esther will be paid a visit to the two brothers, Paul and Jude Okoye. Yes, he visited them regarding the issue going on between Peter and Paul Okoye. In fact, between the Okoyes. Right now, my people, Peter and Paul not be one again. No, in fact, there be three: Peter, Paul, and Jude Okoye. Peter Okoye claimed that Peace Square is not a family stuff, but a public brand. He said this because a lot of people always drag them for bringing their family affairs on social media. But since their fans and followers have the right to know what is happening to their brand, Peace Square, Peter Okoye came out publicly to debunk the rumor that. He reported his twin brother Paul to EFCC and never wrote any petition against him. Now, my people, Peter, Paul, and Jude Okoye owns a management company called Northside Entertainment, and they use this company to manage all affairs of P Square. But one day, Peter Okoye discovered that another company has similar name called not side music different from not side entertainment so he decided to investigate to know how come and who owns this company he said to his greatest surprise the founder of this secret company are jude okoye and his wife ifoma okoye and they registered the address with the family house of jude's wife ifoma okoye Shapali Shapali, my people, he went to meet his twin brother, Paul Okoye, to ask if he knows anything about the secret company. Paul Okoye said he doesn't know, doesn't know anything about it all. And Paul Okoye, during an interview with the EFCC, told a lot of lies that Peter Okoye petitioned him. But the truth is that Paul's name was never mentioned in the petition because he ordered his legal team not to include his name, that he is only after his elder brother, Jude Okoye, and his wife, since they are the directors of the secret company. Peter Okoye discovered that millions of dollars, pounds, naras, millions of naras, has for years been secretly diverted into the secret company, Northside Music, from their own company, Northside Entertainment. And it shows a massive betrayal. Paul Okoye seems to be very angry that Peter Okoye went to the EFCC to table the matter. But Paul claimed to have discussed the matter with them separately. Sorry, Peter claimed to have discussed the matter with them separately with um, his twin and Jude Okoye. But he didn't yield any answer. In fact, the last time he approached Paul, Paul told him to go and do his worst. So it's like Paul has an atom of, like he, he knows what is happening. He has an atom of knowledge about the whole diversion of funds. So Paul told him, see, I beg, go and do your worst. And that was when Peter took the Magana to the ESCC. Jude Okoye was detained and then during interrogation, he later admitted that he and his wife had been diverting millions of dollars to the secret company. Immediately, they froze all the bank accounts of Jude Okoye. They, um, they later released him after he was able to provide short tea and met other bail condition. So, Peter is letting us to know that he never mentioned his brother's name, his twin brother's name, Paul Okoye, in the petition. Now, EFCC investigation revealed that Northside Music, that is owned by um, Jude Okoye and his wife, secretly, they were secretly taking Peace Quest royalty over the years. And guess what? This money has always been transferred to Jude Okoye's account with the help of Bureau the Change. And when they checked Jude's account statement, it revealed that once the money enters his account, there will also be multiple transactions where the money is being splitted with Paul Okoye without Peter Okoye all these years. After Jude's confession, he tried to cover his shame by telling the EFCC that the money 
being shared with Paul is the money that they owed Paul from the sale of their house in America, which is gradually, they, they are gradually paying him little by little. Anyways, guys, this is the stage of the gist. This is where we are now. Peter Okoye still plans to proceed to court with the petition with all receipts and documents according to him. Anyways, this is where I'm going to stop for now. My people were, they say people they find twins, but see what twin people they do. So Peter will be, like I said, paid a visit to them, to the Okoyes, and then I think he didn't meet with Peter. Maybe he only met with, he went to Paul Okoye's house and maybe lo and behold, Jude Okoye was there. Or well, I don't know whether there was any arrangement. It's not a big deal if Paul and Jude apologize to Peter Okoye. And if they do that, there's going to be peace, there's going to be harmony again in the Okoye's family. They will gain more respect and also show good example to the world and particularly on families that are beefing each other. Indeed, my people, blood is thicker than water and we look forward to hearing from the Okoyes. We hope that it's going to be a positive one. So guys, this is where I'm going to end the gist till EFCC releases next findings and till Peter Okoye drops the next gist. Until then, please like, share and subscribe to Gist. That's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.